What's up, everyone? Welcome to This Day in Philly Sports History for September 25th, 2022. Today, we go back to 1987. But before we go back to 1987, not a good day yesterday for the Phils. They pretty much got blown out by the Braves. I know they made it close late, but I kind of figured they were going to lose yesterday. It just was kind of disconcerting the way it happened. However, today's a new day. They are currently a game and a half above the Brewers for that third wild card spot. Half a game behind the Padres for the second. I mean, I feel like at this point, we need to to just focus on making it. Not necessarily it's still early enough that we shouldn't be worrying about the, the matchups or anything like that. But definitely give the... Back to the Future episode on the 64 Phillies. A listen if you have not done so already. Also, receive some feedback on these when I post them on Instagram that there are some issues with the the sharing settings. So I'm going to mess around with that. If you're still having trouble sharing, let me know and I can kind of work and figure that out. But I'm trying. I am trying. So thank you for your loyal support. So today, the Phillies, in 1987, the Phillies played the Expos at the Vet kind of playing out the string they were sort of an average team they would go on to finish 80 and 82 that year but they beat the expos four to two at the vet which the expos were still in contention to catch the cardinals that year for the division so this was a big game for the expos so the fact the phillies won was big but the for me the biggest story out of this game was the phillies closer steve bedrosian got his 40th save of the season which the Phillies only won 80 games that year, so Bedrosian saved half of the games for the Phillies this that year. This was really the first year I started to get into baseball and where Harry Callis and Richie Ashburn became the background music or the soundtrack to my summer vacation. So it was actually really cool. I know they used to play a lot of day games against the Cubs, which was great, <clears throat> watching baseball at 2, at, or 2 p.m. But on this day in Philly sports history... Phillies beat the Expos 4-2. Steve Bedrosian got his 40th save of the season. He would actually go on to win the Cy Young that year. It was the first time since 83 when John Denny won it for the Phillies. And the Phillies would not have another Cy Young winner until Roy Holiday in 2010, who happens still would be, he's the last Phil to win the Cy Young. So we're still waiting. Hopefully the Phils can bounce back today, the last home game of the season against the Braves. Uh, I think the, the crowd's going to be, I know a lot of people going down to the game, so hopefully the, they can get behind and, and push the Phils to the, the win today because they certainly need it. Today also is Eagles game day. Eagles travel down to Washington to take on an old friend in Carson Wentz and the Commanders today. The line right now, right before I recorded this, was at six. It's been at six and a half most of the week. I still don't like it at six. I think the Eagles win the game. I think it's going to be close. And if I'm not going to bet it because I will never bet against the Eagles. I'll take bets for the Eagles, but I will never bet against them. But I think if you want a good bet, take Washington with the points today. Eagles win the game outright. I think Washington is going to play them close. and I, I, They're in the game. They, they're live to win. But I think the Eagles pull it out late. But Washington with the points. So let's go Birds. Let's go Phils. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And follow Back to the Future wherever you get your podcasts. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.